review the Stone Ruin 10 triple IPA. Very difficult to get a hold of. And uh, same recipe as 2012. 10.8 ABV. Very difficult to get a hold of. Be sold out very quickly. But fortunately, a place where I shop got a very got a lot of inventory on this. Beautiful looking beer. Um, got three finger head. It's carbonation bubbles from the top. I can even smell the aromas with the pour. Getting vanilla, a lot of citrus. And I should say that this one's very fresh. This is only about a month old. It's like uh, 617 now. Uh, July, middle of July. Yeah, this is great. Touch of sweetness to this. I'm getting citrus, but I'm also getting a lot of tropical fruit on this. This is really a terrific um, double IPA, or I should say triple IPA. I'm getting, it, it's in some way, see this, is, I've warmed this up. I usually drink them a little, um, <clears throat> a little colder. Uh, this is probably around, I don't know, it's probably around 55. And I actually like it better, it's smoother. Carburation, the carbonation isn't really that overwhelming. What's overwhelming in this is, is that it's very, very hoppy, but with, I'm not getting a big bitterness from this. I'm getting it. It's actually very smooth at the warmer temperature. Um, this is a terrific beer. Uh, one of the better beers that they brew. So, a number of you have probably had this beer, but if, if you haven't had it, uh, by all means, you should go out and get it, if you can find it. Um, it's, it's a terrific beer. Um, it is one of the best hot bombs out of there. Period. End of story. I mean, it's it's quintessential stone. And as I said before, what I did is um, I I'm serving it a little warmer. It's also warm out, so the beer actually. Uh, warms up much faster, but I wanted to drink it fresh, and it's just a terrific hoppy IPA, I mean, it's a double IPA, triple IPA, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so check it out. Um, this is the Ruin 10 triple IPA from Stone, it's 2000. Enjoy the summer.